Exception breakpoints allow you to instruct the debugger to respond to thrown exceptions. Unlike the line breakpoints or method breakpoints, you don't need to mention any specific line where the issue is occurring. In that perspective, exception breakpoints are more global in nature. In this case, for this particular class, debug person details iteration, intentionally I am throwing an exception from the code. If I run the code, as you can see over here, it is throwing some exception at line number 14. Now, we don't want to place any particular breakpoint at any particular line, but we want to investigate what exact problem is occurring. In the console, you can see there is one class cast exception. We want to create one exception breakpoint and see how that works for us. In order to create exception breakpoints, you need to go to run, view breakpoints. As you can see over here, we have already one existing Java exception breakpoint. We can use the any exception to that I will come to later. Let me create one Java exception breakpoint. So I have clicked the plus icon here. You can see at line number three, you can create Java exception breakpoint. Let me mention class cast exception here. If I double click on it, it would be added. You can see the notification section. It mentions caught exception, uncaught exception. There are other important aspects as well. You can mention different filters over here like catch class filters, instance filters, class filters. There you can mention different classes to which the exception would be applicable. For the time being, we are not checking any of these boxes. Rather, we have just mentioned the Java class cast exception over here. I'm clicking on done. Let me run this program in debug mode. You can see over here, the program has automatically halted at the particular line where the exception is thrown. It is very clear here the advantage of the exception breakpoints. You don't need to identify the line of code where the problem is occurring. Rather, you are creating a kind of a global setting which would help you to identify the actual area where the problem is occurring. You can see the icon of the exception breakpoint that is line number 14. This we have not placed but the editor is showing you the place where the problem is occurring and from the variable section you can understand what exception has come which is class cast exception, the detail message and cause you can identify. And also from this line, it is quite obvious where this problem is occurring at line number 14. This particular person list.get i is returning something which is not uh, of this person class type. That's why the exception is. We can see for i equals to 3 means for this for loop. When the iteration is going on, the fourth item is having some problem. So we can see from the person list, if I scroll down further, the item number three is having string instead of the person object. But rather than going to the details of this particular problem, we can understand how the exception breakpoints can be very useful. One way is to mention the exceptions that we are getting. As we can see over here, if I go to this breakpoints view, we can mention the specific exception. Rather than that, what we can do, there is another global setting, which is any exception. So any exception thrown would be caught in that case. But remember one thing, you should disable this notifications caught exception part in order to make it work. Let me click done. I'm terminating this particular debugging session and running it again. 
you can see over here same thing is happening the advantages we are not explicitly mentioning any particular exception but still the debugger works for us and we can easily identify the problem what problem is happening and debug it and understand the root cause without specifying any specific line breakpoints or method breakpoints for example